let's start with your story, of course, because that's where everything else comes from, right? Yes, of course. And uh, like you mentioned, I was a teacher for almost 20 years. And about five years ago, I became a single mom to twins. I have twins. And I was just struggling living in this poverty cycle. I worked a lot of side jobs like many teachers do. I did teeth whitening and sublimation, keto coaching, uh, group exercise, and reading tutoring. So I was constantly working some sort of side hustle to make ends meet. And um, about... Uh, six months ago or last spring, there was a friend on Facebook who had started an OnlyFans and she had made like $10,000 that month. And, you know, as an entrepreneur, I was like, I could really get out of this poverty cycle. I could pay my car off and uh, credit card bills, maybe take my kids on a vacation. And so it sort of got my wheels turning about exploring this opportunity. Yeah. And so what happened next? So I started a page and um, I was going to have the month of July off of work. So that was sort of my plan was like test the water, see if this works, see if I could make any money on it. Um, And so question before you get into like everything that happened, because, you know, a lot of the girls that I know who start OnlyFans pages already are in porn, right? So they already have like a social media following of people like who know what they do. So how did you get because I would imagine that you probably didn't post your OnlyFans link on like your family Facebook page. So how did you get people like because OnlyFans is no discoverability, which is really yes, annoying. It's very difficult. So how did you get people to even find you and join yeah, your page? So that's an interesting question. I'm gonna back up for just a moment because this is gonna sort of explain why I started posting publicly about my page. Gotcha. So on my very last day of uh, work It was a Thursday. It was my last day of summer camps before I had my month off. We actually had a conversation in the office about sex work. And my coworker, who is also a teacher, had said that her husband had gone to North or South Carolina and they had a stripper there for a bachelor party. And the stripper got $600 just to show up to the party. And us as teachers, we were like, wow, that's a lot of money. Yeah. (laughs) That's like a whole week's worth of pet income. And uh, so my coworker actually said that she was uh, thinking about starting an OnlyFans page. And then she joked that maybe she would have her husband do it because gay men love him. And then my boss said, you both should start OnlyFans pages and sell your panties on it. Men love panties and you could make a lot of money selling panties. Well, for me, that was permission to have my page and promote my page. You know, I never actually contemplated getting fired because my boss, who I report to, literally (laughs) encouraged me to start my page. And so I feel like that is a very important part of my story because um, that was when I started – I was on my summer break and I was like, I'm going to test it out for the month. So because I've been single for five years, I had lots and lots of men who had sent me friend requests over the years. So, I mean, I was thinking like a businesswoman and I just went and like accepted 600 (laughs) friend requests and men are pretty um, predictable. So as soon as I accepted the friend request, they would go straight to my DM and I'd hit them with my OnlyFans link. And then that was how I started promoting my page. So you weren't posting it on like the posting, the main part of Facebook where everyone could see it. You're DMing guys directly. I did that, but I also put it in my stories, Mm -hmm. um, my OnlyFans handle, because like you said, there's no searchability. And I knew that if I didn't have fans... I wouldn't make any money. Yeah. So because I had the blessing of my boss, I was like, oh, I'm going to do this. I'm going to promote it. And um, I was on my summer break. So, you know. It's kind of crazy that Facebook, which is, you know, one would consider like a family oriented and definitely not sex work friendly, like 
whatsoever yes. platform is how you were able to promote your OnlyFans. Like, yes, it's that, also how I got fired. <laughs> right. Yeah. But my, I guess my point is, is that OnlyFans really like should have some kind of discoverability yes. built into the platform so that, you know, you can promote yourself within their own network and yes. not have to go to Facebook. Like, I just don't understand why they don't do that. I to agree. me, that's like, you're missing out on a lot of like traffic and I Oppor just, and yeah. opportunity yeah, for just, people to just be able to pay for the for yeah. the marketing just like in Facebook where you yeah. can like um uh promote your business or something yes. you could pay for that um and then I feel like because OnlyFans doesn't allow the searchability it forces models and content makers to try to create the pipelines through other social media right and they're not friendly. No. <laughs> like they're I mean, always, even, I'm always getting in trouble for stuff. 100%. I mean, we always have to fucking dance around yes. that whole thing, except for on Twitter, and even that's changing now. Yes, exactly. Thank you, Elon Musk, <laughs> so very fucking much. <laughs> Anyways, go on. Yeah, so that was sort of what happened. I just started promoting my page, and um, a local right extreme right-wing blogger in my community um, who specifically targets teachers. He had caught wind or found out that I was a teacher with an OnlyFans page. He went to my OnlyFans page, purchased my nudes behind the paywall, used, screenshotted the nudes, wrote a crazy article about me, distributed my nudes. So in the midst of all of this, I get revenge porned by him. Mm -hmm. And then he also sends the nudes to my employer. Um, so that was sort of the long and short of it. Like within four days of my boss encouraging me to start an OnlyFans and everything that transpired, I was fired. And it was interesting because my boss during the termination did not say anything. And that to me is the most infuriating part of the story because it's like, because you encouraged me to do this, I felt like my job was safe. And then you have the audacity to not say anything like, hey, I encouraged this, not only me, but encourage my coworker as well. Um, so I feel like that's just such an important part of <laughs> what yeah. transpired because that was literally why I felt like, oh, I can do this. Also, I wasn't um, a traditional teacher. I was a field trip teacher. So mm -hmm. I was a contract employee for the state of Indiana. Mm -hmm. And um, I taught field trips. So teachers would come with their students for five visits and then go back to school. So mm -hmm. I didn't have the relationship with the kids that um, – You weren't worked. like representing the school in a way that like a – like a schoolroom teacher, I guess, would be. Yeah, where you would have these, like, close relationships. Mm -hmm. You would get to know the kid. For me, I was, like, the fun field trip teacher where yeah. they came and then yeah. left. <laughs> and, you was know. your boss the one who actually had to fire you? His um, boss did. Okay. But he, I mean, he was there. He, he, he was there, and he mm -hmm. just sat there and just said, said Did you nothing. say anything to him about? No, because I was, like, so shocked and traumatized. And also, you could imagine just the way um, his boss tried to shame me for everything. And I'm like, whoa, I didn't do anything illegal. Hey, guys. If you want to support my show, then you should think about joining my Patreon. At my Patreon, I offer all kinds of amazing perks in exchange for your financial support. From live streams of my interviews as they are happening, to bonus Q and A's, behind the scenes photos and videos of my shoots, plus cool merch like stickers, mugs, and hoodies, we have you covered. So go to patreon.com slash hollyrandallunfiltered, and while you're at it, make sure that you click that subscribe button so you don't miss a single one of my new updates.